Instagram experience session as part of Dam Week, which I actually believe this is our final session of Dam Week. So we're going to try to go out on a bang. Um, I'm LC, so thrilled to have you here today. And you know, whether you're joining us in the morning, having that first cup of coffee in your afternoon with me, having uh, maybe one of your uh, other pleasurable caffeine treats, for me, it's Coke Zero, or you're settling into your evening. We've got some really cool and exciting updates and resources to share about Media Valet's digital asset management solution. And Rachel and I, you know, we so appreciate you taking the time to be here. It's Q4, things are busy. Uh, so to kick things off, uh, we'd just love to learn a little bit more about you. Coke Zero for everyone. Yes, Angela. Uh, would just love to hear where everyone's coming in from. And special shout out to anyone else coming in from Toronto, because that's where I am joining from as well. Wonderful. So as you settle in, welcome, welcome, welcome to our session on Media Valet's latest version, the Hot Damn Experience or we also call it HDX. We've designed this new interface to make digital asset management easier and more efficient for the valuable teams who are already using our software. So we're gonna be showcasing some new features within HDX over the next 45 minutes. Uh, it's gonna go by quickly, uh, but let's say you, you can't stay for the whole time. Don't worry at all. Uh, this is actually being recorded for you to review after. And uh, for any of our admins or champions on the line, feel free to also share it with uh, your, uh, your other uh, Media Valet users if you think they'd find it helpful. Now, just some technical housekeeping items. So if you're experiencing any spooky issues, okay, that's my one Halloween joke for, for the session. There's actually, that's a lie. There's going to be more. Uh, so if you're experiencing any issues with hearing me or viewing the session, if your screen freezes, uh, please start by refreshing your browser as a step one. And if you continue to encounter difficulties, you can submit a question in the Q&A panel in Zoom. And we have a couple team members standing by to assist you with technical problems. You know, shout out to Ian, who has been with us for every session during Dam Week. And also thank you, Claire, who you're also going to see pretty regularly in the chat as well. So once again, try refreshing that browser. And if that doesn't resolve the spooky issue, see, I did it again. I couldn't help myself. Uh, feel free to reach out in the chat and we'll make every effort to get you back online. All right. So who the heck am I? I'm Laura, uh, but you can call me LC. All of my friends do. I'm a member of the product marketing team here at Media Valet, and I'm so thrilled to have you all here with us today as we deep dive into the hot damn experience. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Rachel. I am on the customer success management team. Um, I am open to new suggestions on a nickname. I don't know if RA is going to roll off the tongue as much as LC, but any suggestions for a cool nickname, I will take that in the chat. But I am very excited to meet you all today, speak with you about HDX, um, and we're going to have a great time. And we will try to keep the spooky puns to a minimum, but um, they are very fun. So strap yeah. in. Strap in. <laughs> Um, yeah, RA, I don't feel like it rolls the way that LC does, but we definitely need to find you a cool nickname, Rach. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I hope everyone here is feeling just as excited about the hot damn experience as Rachel and I are. Rachel, I think you're pretty excited, right? I definitely am. Hot damn. Hot damn. Uh, so maybe you can actually, uh, our friends who are joining us today, why don't you throw some fire emojis in the chat? Show us how excited you are just to dive into the hot damn experience in greater detail today. Before doing that, uh, let's go through the agenda so you know what's coming your way. So first, we're going to give you a quick recap of what the hot damn experience is all about. So our goal here is to really make sure you know how you can start leveraging HDX today and some new features around it that make it so special. So we are gonna be going a little bit deeper into some of our recent Q3 releases into this new experience and talking about features that enhance the way you handle review and approval processes. You know, any marketers or creatives on the call, not always the easiest thing to do. Uh, streamlining collaboration with your team and boosting productivity. All this to say, Rach and I are going to highlight the biggest improvements and explain how you can leverage all of this functionality right away to get the most out of DAM and out of the hot DAM experience. 
And, you know, we know, especially in times of change, it's important to have the right support and resources at your fingertips, especially for something like the hot damn experience. Uh, that's why Rachel's going to spend some time discussing and showing the different ways that we at Media Valet have got your back from tutorials and knowledge base articles to our support center, to our uh, amazing customer support team. All of it exists to help you succeed with the hot damn experience. So this part is all about making sure you have what you need to stay on top of things. And then finally, before we part, which would be such sweet sorrow, uh, we're gonna open the floor up for Q and A. So this is the time to ask any questions that are coming up. Feel free to start popping them in um, as soon as they come up during the session and we'll be answering them during the Q&A session. And let's say there's an answer that maybe we can't provide on the fly, we'll make sure to follow up with you after the fact to get you the information that you need. Hope that sounds good, everybody. All right, so let's like take like a couple steps back here, you know, or you can like zombie walk it backwards. Like what is the hot damn experience or HDX? Uh, I feel like I've said it a couple times, but let's just really anchor it to bring it home. This is Media Valet's latest software version born uh, from the valuable feedback. We not only heard from our customers and valued users, but Ac you know, this is feedback that we took serious action on. HDX is designed to bring a new level of ease and efficiency to managing digital assets for all of our user types, focusing on improving ease of use and usability so teams can quickly discover and find and access the assets that they need from anywhere at any time. With a refreshed user interface and enhanced features, HDX really, really is designed to simplify your workflows, enhance accessibility across teams, and provide smarter AI-infused tools, which we will be talking about today, that save time and help you streamline your tasks. Plus, Media Valet, as of today, our, our customers and users actually have the flexibility to toggle between uh, HDX and our classic interface. So if you were to log in uh, to your uh, Media Valet account right now, you'll see that try the hot damn experience button, and we definitely uh, would recommend you give it a try. And if you're feeling super confident with HDX, uh, you can also set it as your default environment. I know Rachel and I have already done that ourselves. So all this to say, um, as we zombie walk our way forward into the next part of the agenda, HDX is our answer to helping our teams cut through the noise and keep projects on track, regardless of the size or the complexity of their content library. So speaking of that toggle, we would love to hear who in the audience has tried the hot damn experience. So you should see a poll popping up. And after you submit your answer, why don't we take it one step further? Can you share with us in the chat, you know, how long you've been using HDX? You know, has it been once? Uh, have you been in it a couple times? Are you like, you know, Elsie, I'm already so far ahead of you. It's set as my default. We're good to go. Um, would love to hear how the experience has been for our valued users as of today. I would click it if you dare. Okay, so the puns, they're just not stopping. Once, once, once. You know, Rachel and I were actually in New York last week together for Henry Stewart's uh, dam event. And we were able, Rachel especially was able to demo HDX live and really get uh, some really quick feedback from, uh, you know, partners and customers who were seeing it for the first time. And Rachel, I'm just, you know, if you want to share with everyone, what were some of the words or language that was used when you were demoing? Well, a lot of it was just facial reactions of what I can only imagine were, whoa. Um, but a lot of the words that people would use to describe it, cool, slick, smooth, intuitive. Um, I think one person even said, where was this two years ago? We're so excited. So a lot of folks are uh, really sharing their very emotive words with us uh, as they experience uh, HDX. I'm also taking a look at these poll results. 70% of our participants have already clicked on the hot damn experience. Love that. The 30% of you that haven't yet, we hope today's session will encourage you to jump in, get your feet wet with the system. Uh, you will not be let down. It is an amazing system. Lots of great functionality, which we will go through today as well. Wow, thank you, Rach. 
I was going to say RA, but I'm like, it's just, it doesn't slide. It's not. Alrighty. So in Q3, uh, what have we been up to? We have been laser focused on bringing the features our customers know and love from our classic interface into the hot damn experience. And I will say, well, not all features that maybe you're used to are available yet. Our product and engineering teams are working around the clock to deliver all of those pieces as quickly as possible. Uh, so you get and ensure that you have the seamless and familiar experience that meet our users very fair and high expectations. You know, we've strategically prioritized key releases that we know our customers rely on, carefully transferring over essential features, and in many cases, even enhancing them with new capabilities, which is something Rachel's gonna be talking about with us in a few minutes. You know, this rollout with the hot damn experience, I think really underscores our commitment to not just uh, preserving all of the bells and fantastic whistles in terms of features and functionality that Classic has, but in HDX, taking it to that next level and elevating it, either by enhancing them or also adding in some net new features that we will also be talking about today. So all this to say, Q3 updates are really designed for striking a careful balance, maintaining core functionality that makes Media Valet possible, getting it into HDX as quickly as possible for our users to take advantage of, while also introducing new innovations that make digital asset management with Media Valet even more intuitive and efficient. The team's been busy, long story short. <laughs> So let's talk about uh, the the first item, the first net new item that we're going to be reviewing today. You know, as we continue our commitment to delivering the functionality our customers love, I am excited to share one of the most impactful recent net new releases. So building on our promise to enhance and expand on Media Valet's capabilities, we've introduced a game changing feature that transforms how teams collaborate and get review and approvals over the finish line. So if you happen to miss our session on Tuesday about Media Valet proofing, you're in luck. Uh, the Coles notes are that Media Valet and Page Proof have partnered to release Media Valet proofing, enabling seamless review and approval processes directly within your dam. So you don't have to go to another software system. You don't have to leave Media Valet. You can do it all within your dam. You know, Media Valet proofing is really designed to revolutionize the review process by bringing real-time commenting, markup tools, and collaboration into a single unified platform. Now, if you weren't able to see the session on Tuesday but want that recording, I'm sure that's something that the team on the back end could certainly help with. I would certainly recommend it. Um, but you can kind of imagine uh, reviewing documents, images, uh, all kinds of asset file types, all in one place, all within Media Valet's uh, hot damn ex uh, experience, uh, just to get that seamless feedback and maybe even getting some version control um, in place. You know, this was something last week in New York that became a very common question at the booth that we were hosting, uh, review and approval, ongoing pain point for, I think, a lot of uh a lot of folks in in dam and it's something that we're really proud to have brought to the table for our customers and users in q3 if there's anything for you to remember though when it comes to media valet proofing i would lean into a couple of those key benefits so your ability to review multiple asset types effortlessly it centralizes that feedback and reduces miscommunication which can really take a project off the rails uh, collaborate with your internal teams uh, seamlessly. So as long as folks have a, a login to the dam, you'll be able to use this functionality with them. Uh, and you can easily compare and even track asset versions. So all this to say, uh, it's live within HDX now. Certainly, if you have any questions about how to get started with it, uh, Rachel and I would really recommend that you reach out to your customer success manager. You know, or if you're an end user, then I would connect with your admin of your Media Valet account. You know, our but our customer success team is ready to walk you through the details and show you how this feature uh, can be used as of today to help you with that review and approval process. So definitely something you want to take advantage of.
Absolutely. Wanting to echo that as well. Please reach out to your customer success manager. Um, they'll be happy to introduce proofing to you and your team. Be great to kind of have those conversations about your workflows and how proofing can work for you. Um, I really think, uh, not to be too punny today, but the proof is going to be in the pudding. Um, so definitely take a look with your customer success manager, get those meetings set. See how it can start to bring additional value into your dam. Wonderful. Now with that, Rach, I'm going to pass the uh, speaking baton through Zoom over to you. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm very excited to introduce you all to collections. For those that have already had the chance to peruse the new collections function in the hot dam experience, there may be a sense of familiarity. Um, it is something that was a popular functionality in Classic under a different name. Collections is light boxes but they're reimagined. Though some of the same functionality as light boxes, you'll see some enhancements focusing on a more collaborative approach. So collections in HDX allow you to add users and give them specific permissions from view only access to editing access, where they can add or remove assets, making teamwork easier and more controlled. One would only have to imagine the process of working on a project and benefiting from a collaborative workspace within the dam where users can share the collection to request feedback, encourage input, um, and have a shared approach working together on a collection of assets. But what if you share a collection with someone by mistake or you don't want to see the collection once you've collaborated? Is it really stuck with you? Not at all. We've also added the ability to manage the collaborators. Being able to change your user's functionality within the collection or remove yourself or them completely uh, will really help you ensure that the right people are collaborating on the assets in the right capacity, as well as keeping everyone's collection space full of the most relevant collections. We are so excited to provide a space in the dam where one can generate these collections on the fly, search and manage their collections as needed, and truly streamline their collaborative approach right within the dam. Now let's take a look at collections in action. Our awesome colleague, Parker, he has prepared a quick video for us, which we're happy to show you now. Well, are we gonna, is he in a crystal ball, Rachel? I think so. I think he's chilling there in a, in a crystal ball, very in tune with the special holiday today. Okay. Take it away, Parker. Hi, Parker from Media Valley here. And this video is a spotlight on the collections feature in our hot dam experience. Collections enable you to group together your assets and share them with other collaborators instantly. If you're familiar with our Lightbox feature from Media Valley Classic, this is the evolution of that feature, and it opens the door with more collaboration options. So if you're working on a project like a presentation, a campaign, an event, this is a great feature for collaboration. Let's create a collection and share it with some others. So I'm here in my library, and I'm going to look for some surfing-related images for the project I'm working on. So I'm going to search for some surfing action shots in my library. I'm actually using another great feature from our hot dam experience called Smart Image Search. This is an AI powered search feature. It understands the intention behind my search. It understands what's in my images, and then it delivers the results without relying on my metadata at all. So here we've got some of those surfing action shots. I'm gonna select a few to create my collection. And these can be like a short list for the project that I'm working on. Okay, there we go. So I've selected the photos that I want for my collection, I'm gonna go down to share and share them as a collection. So now I will name that collection, let's call it surfing photos. I can choose who I wanna share it with. And I could put one individual or multiple, and then I can choose what they can do. Do they just view the assets in my collection or can they also, as collaborators, add and remove assets? When I share this with them, they're going to receive a notification email that's going to link them to that collection. So optionally, I can add a custom message as well. So let's create that collection. Okay, so my collection has been made and shared all in one action. 
here on the left, I'm going to go to my collections. And here is my surfing photos collection with those images I selected. If I want to modify who my collaborators are and what they can do, I can select these three dots to the right. I can go to share collection. I can add additional collaborators, or I can go down here to manage and manage the access that my existing collaborators have, all with just a couple clicks. All right, so just before I let you go, I want to show you as well what it looks like if someone else shares a collection with you. So on the right, you'll see that there's this other collection above surfing photos called Photo Studio Flyer. And above this collection, I can see that it was shared with me and who it was shared by. So right away, I can tell the difference between collections that I've created and collections that have been shared with me. So we'll go into this Photo Studio Flyer and let's say that this project is done. I actually don't need this collection anymore for myself. So I want to free up some space in my collections view. Well, now I can actually go ahead and select this X to the right and remove this collection. What this is doing is removing me as a collaborator. It doesn't affect the original collection for the one that created it, but it frees up the space for me if I don't need access to it anymore. And there you go, as simple as that, here's our collections feature and all the collaboration options. If you do have any questions about this feature or anything else in our hot damn experience, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Thank you, Parker. Yeah, thank you, Parker, for the video demonstration. And again, how fitting for Halloween that you appear to be speaking from us inside a crystal ball. Love right. that. Um, but it's also a very good segue into something else pretty magical. Um, Parker, I think, mentioned it also during that video. And that would be our next feature that we want to, to show everyone today. Smart image search. It's pretty magical. Discovering assets truly has just become easier and, and we're excited to unveil Media Valet's smart new way of searching for assets. We are thrilled to introduce you to Smart Image Search. Smart Image Search is not reliant on manual metadata, making it easier for you and your teams to not only search for assets in the dam, but also ensure they're finding relevant assets based on what they're describing. Imagine a new user who doesn't understand how the metadata structure is set up, or they don't know all of the internal language at an organization, which would normally help them you know, find those assets within the dam. With Smart Image Search, users will be able to find assets with the help of AI based on what is being described in an asset. You can also imagine someone uploading a bunch of assets to the dam, but the horror, they didn't tag any metadata. I'm sure it happens to everyone's organization. Definitely a scary time and not just during Halloween. Smart image search will still make these assets discoverable based on the content in the image. It doesn't make metadata obsolete. Please continue to tag and add metadata and attributes to your assets, but it does act as another layer to discover assets in your dam. And if that wasn't incredible enough, Smart Image Search also supports over 100 different languages, making it a game changer for international teams, global offices, and teams and individuals that may speak a different language. You can start to discover assets with the Smart Image Search in the Hot Damn experience by clicking the, what I like to call the magic button next to the bar, uh, the search bar. It looks like magic. It works like magic. I believe seeing is truly believing. So we are going to give you a quick look at the smart image search in action. Back to Parker. Hi, Parker from Media Valley here. This is a spotlight on smart image search. This is our AI powered search feature that understands what you're searching for and understands what's in your images so that you can get accurate results without worrying about metadata. Let's look at some examples here. So this is my own Media Valet library of images. I'm going to search for college students with Smart Image Search. And right away, you see that I get a variety of images in my result that fit the context of college students. They're not the same type of image, but there's a variety. There's some graduation style photos. There's students out on campus together. There's classroom photos, so on and so forth. These all fit that context of college students. And let me just take a second here to compare this to a more traditional lexical search, which is requiring metadata. So in that kind of search, I'm just gonna click this button here to do a lexical search. You'll see that I actually get no results. 
So in my library here, I haven't done any manual metadata tagging at all. And you can see I'm getting great results through Smart Image Search anyways. Okay, let's look at a couple more searches here. So another popular use case for Smart Image Search is synonyms. That's a common problem with metadata-based searches is that if you're not covered by tagging all of the synonyms, somebody might search for something using a similar word and they're not able to find what they're looking for. But synonyms are covered in Smart Image Search. So let's take this concept of college students and let's look for freshmen. And you'll see right away, I get very similar, if not some of the same images without having to worry that it's a synonym. Okay, let's look at one more search here. So the more specific that you get with Smart Image Search, the more specific your results are going to be. So I'm going to put college students studying together on campus. And this is a concept, right? It's maybe not what's explicitly in the image, but there's an idea behind it. And you can see the images that I'm getting are what looks like students together. They've got books out in a lot of cases. They're in classrooms or outside. It is college students studying together on campus. And one last thing I'll point out is that Smart Image Search covers a variety of languages. And these are languages that can be searched in and you don't have to worry about any metadata in these other languages. So I've just quickly translated this phrase into Spanish here as an example. And let me now search for this in Spanish. You'll see that I get virtually the same results in another language. All right, I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions about Smart Image Search or use cases that you're wondering if this would be good for, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to help you. Thanks for watching. Another great video from Parker there. Thank you so much, Parker, for those videos. Um, now I think it'd be great to hear from all of you. I think it's a time that we take a quick poll on which of these three new features people are most excited to start using in the dam. Is your favorite behind door number one, proofing? Door number two, collections? Or door number three, smart image search? Maybe all three. Maybe all three. Smart image search was very popular at the booth as well, right, Rage, last week? Absolutely. Yeah, I think a lot of the same emo uh, emotions of, wow, I don't need to rely so heavily on metadata. A lot of the questions came up about, you know, we still need metadata, but people aren't finding what they're looking for. This helps people discover things based on the language they would use, whether it is their um, their own language or their way they would describe uh, an asset. And for those that have already um, done the poll as well in the chat, we would love to hear if you've already started using any of these features in your dam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see some good questions coming in as well. We'll make sure to, to get to those. Um, I'll also add that, you know, smart image search is available within your packages today. So if you were, I know we have a lot of admins on the call who are still needing to rely on their admin functionality in classic, but certainly for your end users, uh, smart image search in particular, I think that's a great way to get them to start using HDX, uh, getting them into the new interface and seeing uh, what new functionality is available to help make their lives a little bit easier. Anything in the Looking chat? like some good poll results there. So it looks like the majority of people, smart image search, they're very excited about that, but not far behind that is collections and proofing as well. So uh, definitely lots of exciting new tools for people to uh, get excited with in the dam. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about support and resources. So as you know, Media Valet is here to support you. Let's talk about some of the ways that we have your back. We have resources to provide an expertise. Sorry, we have resources to provide. Uh, we also have expertise in house, and we're really here to help you achieve success within the HDX. Three points here customer success manager. As we've mentioned on this call previously, we would definitely recommend anything that you want to learn more about in terms of these features, in terms of HDX reach out to your customer success manager. They're here and happy to support you with any questions that you have, help and really just help you achieve success with the HDX experience. There's also the support team and support center. 
support team is available to answer any of your technical support questions, and the support center is full of how-tos and resource guides to give you a leg up in navigating HDX. Last but not least, Media Valet Academy. It's a training hub full of amazing learning videos to help train you and your teams on the hot damn experience. If you need access to this or are looking for it, um, please reach out to your customer success manager and they'll help you navigate towards the Media Valet Academy. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, these are great resources, you know, and like, she, like Rachel was saying, the Support Center, Media Valet Academy, should be able to access it directly through your Media Valet account. But certainly, I think we've really uh, stressed the point. Our CX team is here to help each and every one of you and your teams with this transition into the hot damn experience. It's exciting. There's a lot of great functionality we want everyone to start using, but we also know that that change management needs to be uh, handled well. So all the resources are going to be continued to be updated. Uh, new materials are going to be coming out also quite regularly. Uh, so rest assured that that is something that the team is taking very seriously. Um, and of course, if anything ever reaches a sticking point, your CSM is always your number one resource. Um, Rachel, I know you have a few customers that you've already been talking to uh, about HDX. Mm -hmm. And I can imagine you're probably going to get even more after this session. Absolutely. I am very excited to talk about HDX. There's a lot of great functionality and product enhancements that are already changing the lives of the admins that I work with. Um, so to please reach out to your customer success uh, manager, support team, use the technical um, support center as well. So on that note, uh, we wanted to give an uh, adequate amount of time for Q&A. Uh, so why don't we move over to that side of Thing. So I'm just going to open Zoom panel. Uh, so will the hot damn experience eventually have all the functionality of the classic version? Yes, that is an excellent question, uh, Ricardo. Thank you, thank you for asking. So, uh, as I was stressing at the at the start of the the session, our team product engineering is working around the clock to get HDX to feature parity with Classic as soon as possible. Uh, so you should every it feels like almost every day that you log in to your Media Valet account, you're probably going to see something uh, from Classic in HDX or even something new. So the best way to keep up to speed with that it that we have a couple options the the one that i recommend first and foremost though is we do have an external release dashboard uh, i believe actually ian did put that link in the chat earlier uh, where the team is highlighting on a monthly basis everything that has been pushed out into hdx and then the roadmap items that are still to come so that should be a, a really helpful place just to keep you up to speed um, but with that as well, if there's a piece of functionality that you're particularly looking for, then my recommendation would be to just go to your CSM, ask them, get that clarity so uh, we can align our release dates with the, with the time that you're looking for. I see a question coming in here uh, from Ian as well. I believe people had this question a few times in the chat. Um, is smart image search available in my account? It is available in HDX. So for you to access the smart image search, you will have to navigate over to HDX. If you're still working in classic, you will not see it. If you're in HDX, it's a little magic button next to the search bar. If you have challenges finding that or for whatever reason, it's not appearing. We want to hear that. Please reach out to your customer success manager. They will help navigate that for you um, and help you with the troubleshooting if there's any needed. But it is live. Please use that in your dam. But to reiterate, only available in the HDX. Thank you, Rachel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I did see this pop up. It looks like we might have gotten some clarity over the chat, but just to kind of reiterate, I believe it was Jay, I think it was Jay, uh, who uh, was asking about uh, if you can share a collection with an external stakeholder. So uh, unfortunately, they need to have a Media Valet account. Uh, there is a workaround if you wanted to, to get uh, a particular asset from a collection to an external stakeholder. Um, but I would say if that's something that you're looking for, it might just be helpful just to sign them up as a particular user type just for reviewing whatever you're trying to share. Wonderful. 
you like how I said wonderful to my own answer? Like it's, it was a wonderful answer. It was good. Oh, well, I thank you. <laughs> um, okay. We have a few from Steve. Uh, how many? Uh, can you do it over with tagging? So I suspect this has to do with smart image search. My experience so far is we have so many tags applied to assets that when we search the items that we hope to see don't show up even when they're sorted by relevance. So uh, Rachel, I don't know if you want to take that one on and kind of just yeah. the points around smart image search. Yeah. If anyone's spoken to me before, you know, I, I've used this phrase quite often is there is a fine line between too little and too much. It's one of those things where when we are tagging assets with metadata, we do run into, there's just a lot of tags. We don't know what we're finding. It's producing a lot of results. The great thing, especially with the smart image search to bring that into context is regardless of metadata, smart image search will help your teams discover the right assets because it's not reliant on the metadata or tags or keywords or attributes. Your teams will still be able to find the relevant assets based on the context of the photo, not the description or uh, metadata of the photo itself. But yes, you can overdo it with tagging. It is it is hard to do, but definitely um, I would reach out to your customer success manager, maybe get some tips around how to mitigate some of those tags and keywords that are already in your dam and how you can use smart image search to help make sure that your teams are discovering the assets that they need that are relevant and approved as well. Great question. Excellent question. All right, I'm looking at the uh, Blair. Hey, Blair, are there any limitations to a general user, so non-admin, that would give us pause to communicate HDX to our user base? That's a really great question. Um, my gut feeling is, why don't you connect with your CSM and maybe come up with a bit of a transition plan? You know, talk through some of the features and functionality you know your users uh, are glued to that are important for them. Um, and maybe uh, you can even leverage some of the collateral or ideas that our, that our customer success team is, is developing to help customers with the adoption of the hot damn experience. So like Rachel and I were talking about this, you know, some folks are putting together almost like a bingo uh, kind of experience or game for the first time that you log in to help people find and look for uh, things that they're used to and comfortable with, with the classic interface. So all this to say, you know, my immediate reaction is there shouldn't be any reason to not communicate it, but certainly uh, maybe going in with a bit of a plan and collaboration with your CSM might make it a little bit easier for you. Oh, you're welcome, Cass. Happy Halloween. <laughs> All righty. When will HDX flip over to being the default view? Is there a target date? Great question. As of now, there is no target date, um, but you will, as soon as we have one, uh, our customers will be hearing from us. So we will keep you posted on that. For now, it's just trying to get folks uh, used to that toggle, uh, introducing them to the interface, certainly don't want to force anyone into it before they're ready. All righty. Uh, we have a collections question, Rachel. Mm -hmm. um, so are collections utilized for projects in progress? So this is from Steve. Uh, are there assets and collections that live elsewhere? It just sounds like uh, we're hoping to understand really the difference between creating a collection and a branded portal. Great question. I'm going to kind of break this question down into a few points. Um, so, you know, in terms of this question, you know, can our collections for work in progress files, you could use collections for that, but that's not the only use case. And depending on what process you currently have in place for work in progress files, you may rely on other systems like project management tools to, with your teams that would integrate with Media Valet and the hot dam experience. But you can also do a lot of that right within the dam itself. So it's it's a bit of an open-ended question because I don't know your specific workflow. So I can't say, yes, you can do this or no, you can't. Um, I would definitely reach out to your CSM for that question specifically. Um, but long answer short, it absolutely could be that type of space. It's just on how you go through your approval process right now. Um, I think the question between, uh, you know, the difference between a collection versus a branded portal. Collections, I would say, are more of a collaborative workspace within the dam. Branded portals are more of a storytelling um, kind of external facing uh, 
platform uh, from the dam. So you can send a lot of assets within a branded portal to tell more of a story. You have the, uh, the text fields, description fields, you can add a little bit more color to the assets. Um, whereas something like the collections is a great space for your teams to collaborate internally, work on projects. You could sync a collections to something like a branded portal and have all those assets move over. Um, but we definitely want to, you know, stress that the the collection space in, within the hot damn experience, more collaborative, um, bringing assets together, having people add or remove those assets from that light box. It does not add or remove them from the dam. I think that was also another one of your questions there as well. Um, so those assets are just like a, a workspace, a workstation, um, a bulletin board, a, a image board, a dream board, whatever you want to call it. Definitely a more of a work in progress uh, station of the dam. Great way to put it. I was imagining back in the day when I was creating Pinterest boards. That's where my head was at. I was like, I yeah. don't know if that's relevant anymore in these days. I still use it, but uh, that's where my head goes when I think of collections, just putting yeah. a bunch of stuff together and then editing. It's kind of how I like to clean my house too. just throw everything together and then figure out where it needs to go. So um, that's how I like to describe the, the collections. But this way, other people can help me clean my house, right? Exactly. We're all in this together, right? Collaboration. Collaboration. Um, and with that, so Steve, you have a, another question for us, and I'm actually going to be taking your name down because I think you have some really great questions and I want to make sure uh, that we can solve and answer them based on your account and your setup. Uh, so happy to connect with you after this and, and connect you with your CSM just to make sure that we're, we're taking care of you, but excellent questions. Thank you so much. Uh, will there be more pop-up icons alerts when you log into Media Valet to announce what is new, just release an HDX? Uh, those are helpful. So yes, uh, we absolutely do have this. Uh, we have uh, a system for guides and making sure uh, it's clear in terms of as things are coming into the hot damn experience and as new people come into the hot damn experience that they have those options and pop-ups uh, to, to better navigate and understand the interface. Um, certainly I think between that support center, your CSM and that uh, external roadmap that is also providing updates as new things go live within HDX, uh, you and your team should be more than covered. Uh, but certainly it, my default is always, if you ever are confused or have a question, just go to your CSM. They're armed and ready to help you if there's anything that you can't find on your own based on all the resources. And if I may jump in there as well is, you know, there is a lot that we can provide on our side to help and support you. Something we also encourage is if you have an internal message board or meetings or town halls or any way you can communicate with all of your damn users, we would definitely encourage, you know, a nice email that gets sent out or Slack or Teams message, uh, really introducing people to the hot damn experience. Our teams are happy to help you with some of the language you may want to use to really kind of hit home the uh, importance and, and kind of coolness in a in HDX, if I will. I mean, it is a really cool system. So um, we definitely encourage any internal communication that you may want to provide to your teams. Please let us know how we can support you with that. All right. All right. No, it's still not flowing. Um, it's not flowing. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Delcy. We have one more question and then I think we're going to have to uh, wrap it up. But certainly mm -hmm. great questions have come in. Thank you so much for everyone's engagement. Uh, final question comes in from Ricardo uh, around collection. So in creating a collection and restricting it from certain users, can the restricted user still access those collection assets? Great question. If you do not share that collection with a user, they won't be able to see that collection. But if they see those assets in the dam and their user permissions are set up so that they have access to those assets, they'll still be able to see the assets. They just won't see the collection. So if you do want them to collaborate on that collection, we would encourage you to share that collection out to them. Um, but a collection does live separately to the assets. It doesn't affect the entire dam of assets. So if you remove an asset from a collection, it doesn't remove it from your dam. Um, so a great place to kind of work together on a collection of assets without it affecting the integrity of the dam. To answer your question around if that user can see it, it will depend on 
their user permissions within the dam so if you're working with assets in the collection you absolutely do not want anyone else to see please make sure they are um, done appropriately within the user permissions within the dam itself wonderful well thank you everyone uh really appreciate your time today like we said there will be a recording uh, if you need to review again, share it out with your teams. Uh, on behalf of Media Valley, thank you so much for attending and participating in our Dam Week 2024. Have a great rest of your day and can't wait to connect with you soon again. Thanks, everyone. Bye.